Hi, I'm Heil Rutledge, President and Principal Consultant at OKA, and I'm excited to talk to you about the Pierman Personality Integrator, Type's newest assessment tool. Long a fan of both MHS, the Pierman's publisher, and Roger Pierman, the assessment's author and one of MBTI's most respected authors and researchers, I had no doubt of the tool's quality, but I have to admit that I was skeptical, frankly, about the need for another type tool. After studying, using, and training with the Pyramid for a year now, I have to say that I love it, and it has really helped me operationalize so much of Carl Jung's work, not just for OK's clients, but for myself as well. If you need a tool for advanced self-awareness or development work, or simply a fresh approach to type, or if you're new to type and are interested in the new kid in town, the Pierman Personality Integrator is definitely worth a closer look. Let me share why the Pierman is unique and why we use it here at OKA. Here are my favorite, my, my top five Pierman features. Number one, natural versus demonstrated. I've never taught a type class within which people did not struggle with the difference between type, the hard wiring we have, and behavior, what we actually do. The introverted presenter, the detailed intuitive, or the person who feels she's one way at work and another way at home. With the Pierman, we now have data on what is most natural type as well as what is most demonstrated behavior. Receiving both of these bits of information in one assessment is exciting and particularly helpful as we seek to better understand and manage ourselves. Number two, scores on a continuum. Another exciting feature about the Pyramid is that we can measure our type and behavior on a continuum. You and I both prefer introversion, but you seem more introverted than I do. The amount of type feels relevant and important to so many people, and we can now measure this with the Pyramid. The Pyramid's output, an elegant new construct called the circle score, communicates the preference, what is most natural, and the behavior, what is most demonstrated, in terms of a percentile, how natural it feels to me or how much I demonstrate that function or attitude compared to the rest of the population. The score becomes a valuable, powerful piece of data in the self-awareness and development process. The eight mental functions. The foundation of psychological type has always been the eight mental functions, the fundamental forms of mental cognitive activity an introverted and extroverted manifestation of sensing, intuition, feeling, and thinking. The Pyramid is the only validated tool to measure type on the function level. How natural is extroverted sensing for me? And separate from that, how much do I actually extrovert my sensing? How much easier is extroverted feeling for me than extroverted thinking? These are powerful questions that feed an actionable development plan. And with the Pyramid, for the first time, they can be answered with specific assessment data. Number four, development focus. The language throughout the Pyramid report has a clear type development focus, encouraging people to move beyond what is natural towards accessing or even getting good at the type functions, all of them. The Pyramid does not sort into a static type and nail that down with a profile. Instead, this tool helps people move beyond awareness of their preferences toward greater self-management and above all, development. And number five, the flex index. The pyramid is loaded with data that highlight and illuminate stretch points. The fact that so much of what we do and how we develop is in the opposite direction from what is most natural. The underpinning belief is that there's no growth, there's no development, there's, there's not even effective living without the ability to stretch. But all this stretching requires flexibility. The Pyramid includes the Flex Index, a measure of your agility and resilience. This Flex Index is comprised of five component pieces that each contribute to our resilience and ability to grow and develop. Proactivity, composure, connectivity, variety seeking, and rejuvenation. Each of these flexibility components measured along a traditional continuum can be increased and each can be, but need not be, 
related back to the individual's type results. The flex index is a brilliant way to ensure that the focus of the pyramid is growth and development. And with resilience being such a hot and urgently requested topic these days, the flex index is timely and resonant for this reason as well. If you'd like to take a closer look at the pyramid for yourself or for your team, or you'd like to become certified to use this great new tool, we would love to hear from you here at OKA.